go back to almost the beginning um, and the beginning of organizing and forming what would become West Harlem Environmental Action or WE Act for Environmental Justice. And that is that we spent the first two years of, of our organizing, roughly from 1986 to 1988, we spent those two years yelling and screaming and fighting and arguing and being mad and being disappointed and being overwhelmed by what we were facing with the pollution from the North River Sewage Treatment Plant. And after two years, I just reached a point where I just couldn't do that anymore because it wasn't productive, it wasn't moving us any further, it wasn't stemming the pollution, it wasn't addressing our issues. And so that's when we began to really form and build a nonprofit organization, West Harlem Environmental Action, now we act for environmental justice. And in making that transition, we also decided that tactically, maybe we should try and sit down at the table and talk to these folks and try and get them to understand to the best of our ability what the challenges were, what the harms were we were uncovering. We found out through our own research and investigation that we had the highest premature death rate from asthma of any community in the United States of America, any community in the Western Hemisphere, and that the asthma death rate and mortality rate in our community was so high that it drove the national U.S. average for asthma and asthma deaths in the United States. When we began to turn a corner and to really begin to address our issues in a substantive way was when we began to sit down and negotiate, be in dialogue with, try and strategize with those agencies that were responsible for environmental protection and environmental control in New York City and New York State. So I would just say to folks that use all the talents that you have. It's not only to get in people's faces, right? And sometimes you have to do that, but you don't have to do it every day. And you might find, as my grandmother tried to tell me my whole life up until she died in 1993, you catch more flies with honey than you do with vinegar. Really simple adage, but really, really true. If you treat people with respect, then you get that respect back. And that is what these communities have been asking for and demanding. They want to be treated with respect. They wanted to be treated equally before the law. And in order to get that, you have to give that. And now, 26 years later, we're celebrating our 25th anniversary next year. We've seen all kinds of victories, all kinds of changes. The asthma rate has gone down dramatically. The death rate from asthma has gone down dramatically. And that is what we were trying to accomplish. But we could not have accomplished that if we stayed in the room yelling and screaming at the regulators for the rest of time immemorial. There's a time for that, but it's not every day all day.